All right, let's talk about the terminal. For a lot of developers, it's home. But what if the tools we use there could be better? Today, we're diving into a brand new text editor called Fresh. And honestly, it might just be the start of a whole new era for terminal editing. It's trying to solve a problem that's been around for, well, decades. You know the drill, right? When you're picking a text editor, it always feels like this classic dilemma. Do you want something that's ridiculously powerful, super fast, keyboard first, or do you want something that's just easy to use? It's always been a trade-off. But what if, just what if, you didn't have to make that choice anymore? So this is what we're calling the editor's dilemma. It's this age-old battle, speed versus simplicity. And this one conflict has basically created two totally different camps of code editors, each with a fan base that'll defend their choice to the end. And you can see the trade-offs pretty clearly. In one corner, you've got the classic terminal heavyweights. Think Vim. They are lightning fast, barely use any sister resources, but man, that learning curve is a vertical wall. Then, in the other corner, you have modern graphical editors, like VS Code. Super intuitive, packed with features, but they can be a bit sluggish, a real memory hog. You get all the bells and whistles, but you lose that instant, snappy feeling. So for ages, we've just kind of accepted this compromise. You pick your side and you live with it. But what if you didn't have to? What if some new editor could just smash those two worlds together and build a bridge right over that gap? Well, that's where this new contender, Fresh, steps into the ring. It's a terminal text editor, and it was literally built from the ground up to solve this exact problem. Okay, so the first thing that jumps out at you with Fresh is that it feels, well, familiar. It's designed so you can actually discover how to use it. No more memorizing a thousand obscure key bindings just to get started. You got real native UIs, a full-on menu system that you can actually click, and get this, a powerful command palette, just like you'd find in VS Code. So the magic here is getting that graphical feel, but with that pure, unadulterated terminal speed. It really is the best of both worlds. And it makes the jump super easy. I'm talking full mouse support. You can click, you can drag, you can highlight text, just like you would anywhere else. That menu system, yep, totally clickable. And the command palette means you can find any feature just by typing. The whole idea is to make moving from something like VS Code feel completely natural. But here's the kicker. This is where it gets really cool. With all those user-friendly features, you'd expect a performance hit, right? Wrong. Fresh is all about zero latency performance. We are talking, you hit a key, the character appears. Instantly. No lag, no input delay. Just pure speed. And that speed isn't just for typing hello world. Fresh is built to be a workhorse. It can open and edit massive files. I'm talking multi-gigabyte log files or huge data dumps, and it doesn't even flinch. That's something that would make most modern graphical editors just completely choke. All right, so it's fast and easy to use, but what about power? Well, Fresh is also built on a totally modern, extensible foundation. This isn't just about recreating old ideas. It's about pushing forward. And a huge part of that is how it handles plugins and customization. Forget learning some weird ancient scripting language. With Fresh, you write plugins in TypeScript, and they run in a secure, sandboxed Dino environment. So what does that mean for you? It means you can use the modern JavaScript tools you already know and love to build out your editor without any fear of crashing the whole thing. And it's not like you have to build it up from scratch. It comes loaded with features right out of the box. You've got full language server protocol support for all that smart code completion, multi-cursor editing, deep Git integration, split panes, keyboard macros, markdown preview. The list just goes on and on. It's got the pro-level tools you'd expect ready to go from minute one. Okay, so let's pull back for a second. Why does a tool like this actually matter? What's the big deal? Well, this could really be pointing to the future of editing in the terminal. What Fresh is really saying is that you don't have to choose anymore. You can have a powerful, modern, user-friendly editor that lives right inside the fast, efficient terminal you already use. It's trying to finally, once and for all, end that compromise we've been talking about. And you know the best part? You can try this thing out like right now. It's super easy. You can just run a quick test with NPX. And if you decide you love it, installing it is just one NPM command away. There are also pre-built binaries on GitHub, so it's incredibly easy to get your hands on it. So I'll leave you with this thought. 
For the longest time, the terminal has kind of been this exclusive club, right? The domain of experts who've spent years mastering these really complex tools. But what happens when an editor like Fresh comes along and brings that modern, intuitive feel into that world? Could this fundamentally change how you work in the terminal? It's definitely something to think about. <laughs> 